Good morning, it has just gone 2am, I've had to get up really early because I've got a train connection to make which I wouldn't be able to do if I was to get the first train out from the Wigan. So I'm having to walk for two hours to Horwich Parkway in order to get myself into Manchester in time. I think it's time to make a really strong disgusting black coffee. <laughs> I've made it to Manchester Piccadilly, I'm G Loves Trains and I am riding a full journey from initial departure to Terminus and if you don't already know what that is then you should probably look at the title of the video. I am getting on the 6.30 service to Milford Haven, not sure what train class it's going to be, maybe a 150, a 158, hopefully a 175, we'll find out soon enough. And it is the reason I had to think a little more broadly as to how to get here, because it is a 6 hour 26 minute ride to get down there and I do want to spend a bit of time around Milford Haven and without getting stranded I do need to make it back here tonight. <laughs> It is a 158 and happy days. I did notice when I was doing the walk down then that there are USB ports throughout the whole carriage and there are power sockets at the table seats, which was my main concern with it being such a long ride. In fact, probably slash most definitely, I'm pretty sure this is the longest ride I've ever done. Also, really oddly, this train just departed from platform 13. We've just pulled into Crewe and I'm rather surprised actually because I thought it might be rather busy here but there wasn't an influx of people um, boarding the train and this is where I always used to actually get on to ride down to Cardiff. I am travelling on an advanced single which costs £25.70 with railcard and for the distance that is a pretty damn good price. Also, even though I got like five or six hours sleep, I am worried that I'm gonna find it difficult not to fall asleep on here because it's so relaxing, but the pretty views out the window should keep me awake. It's Shrewsbury, not Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury. And when you're at Shrewsbury, you can have a cup of tea and eat biscuits. Yeah. Usually I'd be spotting Blackpool Towers, but down this route I always try and spot these trees, which I've not yet seen, and I can't quite remember whereabouts they are, um, unless they've actually been knocked down, or they've just grown really bushy, but then again they were like long and thin. I'm still on the lookout. Oh my name is my baby. I always have the ring with me. Love you. Hey look, it's Cardiff, my favourite place in the whole wide world where practically all the passengers have just gotten off the train, unsurprisingly. I can't wait to get back here in the summer, go next biking around the bay again. I didn't realise this was going to happen but the train has gone into reverse formation at Abertawe. There's no point in me moving though because it's going to re-reverse so I'm back facing forwards at Carmarthen. It's rather Cumbria-esque at the moment and this ride has been on my to-do list for quite some time. I did actually plan to do it last year and it was lucky that I didn't buy the tickets because Mersey Travel contacted me asking me to go down to the depot and obviously I couldn't refuse that offer so I had to put the Milford Haven run on hold but I've got a week off work at the minute. I was supposed to be riding the trams in Manchester but turns out a few of the tram stops are closed this weekend <laughs> so I was like hmm what can I do instead 
and then the idea to come and make this vlog came into my mind. Milford Haven. You don't even want to know what I shortened the name of this station down to. The time on that train absolutely flew by and oh my days, I didn't fall asleep. Milford Haven is a sweet ickle station. There's not a lot in it. There is a Tesco across there and it's still got its ATW decor. It's also got a lot warmer now and it's about time I take my jacket off. Squishy babies! I've just come to Milford Waterfront and the word Haven is very apt. I know I'm not in Shrewsbury anymore, but it is stunning. Absolutely stunning, my dear. I'm just gonna stand here for a few minutes and take some photos. And then, because it is so sunny, I'm gonna have a wander to Gellerswick Bay because I'm in the mood to go to the beach. I am absolutely dripping in sweat right now, but how refreshing is it, it actually being hot for a change? Like you almost forget what this feels like. The weather is so lovely and I'm gonna try and get my tan back. Although I have to go burnt before I go tanned. And my sleep deprivation well and truly went out of the window on that train because yes, I'm chilled and sweaty right now, but I am wide awake. This is beautiful. I may just be re-admiring my selfie with 175109 and as per always it was headed in the direction away from me. Some things never change. <laughs> I am honestly so happy right now just with everything in life. I mean I do get stressful days but this certainly isn't one of them. I feel like I'm in heaven. I have really enjoyed my ride down to Milford Haven. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye, bye.